right welcome everyone this is going to be my first ever top 10 mods of the week video so we'll kind of see how this goes but uh the idea of this is just simply to go through what i think are the top 10 mods in addition to looking at how they were rated and how many people looked at them and stuff like that so um we'll kind of go through some of that and i'll explain some of that as we go through but again this is not a mod review we're just gonna go over the top 10 mods so i'm gonna give you some quick features and all overviews of these top 10 mods and uh yeah just kind of let you know what i think were the top 10 or what you guys thought were the top 10 mods for the week so let's go ahead and get started all right, number one, we have Pack of Traces by Avanox. And by the way, almost all of these mods are for all platforms. There's one that's PC and Mac only, but the rest are for all platforms. So this is Pack of Traces by Avanox. This is for all platforms, 3.03 megabytes to download. Um, this had 27 ratings, which averaged at 4.1 stars on the mod hub. So features of this, these are nice little details. There's several here pictured here where you can kind of place them on the pavement and stuff or on dirt and whatnot. Um, I think they're kind of, they're a little bit different. They're a nice little detail to add to your farm. Um, what's also kind of nice is they're $0 to place and there's no cost for upkeep for them. So they're free to kind of just have around. So so definitely a pretty good detail to have as far as that goes. Number two, we have the Jens Wood Slasher by Kenny456. This is for all platforms. This is 14.77 megabytes to download. This had 37 ratings averaging at 4.6 stars. And again, my ratings and how many stars they have is as of when I'm recording this. Um, the features of this, this will cut logs on the trailer for whatever you can adjust the length between uh two to eight meter lengths um this is something new i don't think we've had something like this now it is a little bit pricey it's 160 or 160 thousand dollars starting out to buy um however it does have a trailer hitch option so you can link other stuff behind it um and do different stuff like that which i always think is nice to have a little bit more versatility Next up in number three, we have the Z234 by Hashtail Mods. This is for all platforms, 4.28 megabytes to download. You guys love this one. 50 ratings at an average of 4.6 stars. Um, this thing is kind of cool. So yes, though it is only a two meter working width, this thing does TED and Windrow at the same time. And it's going to cost you $1,200 for the main unit, the Z234. Then the rake you see on the left side of it attaches separately. Um, so you can Windrow. That is $100 to buy the rake. And there's actually quite a few color options on this. So you're able to kind of adjust it a little bit as well um, if you wanted to change the color around. All right, number four is the PSKU-8 by Grek43. This is for all platforms. This is 6.88 megabytes to download. Uh, this got 26 ratings, but it's at five stars, so everyone rated it five stars. Uh, features of this, this is a plow, so you can create fields with it as well as uh, take care of the plowing state on a field. Um, it's 4.8 meters wide, which is a decent width for a plow, especially one like this, and it only requires 210 horsepower, so you don't need a massive tractor to pull this around. Um, this does have a $4,920 starting price. It does have color options available for you as well as those rollers you see kind of hanging off the rear those are optional so um, you don't have to have those on so definitely not a bad little plow kind of nifty i like it and in number five we have the new holland big baler 1290 by stv modding this is for all platforms this is 6.93 megabytes to download this received 20 ratings but averaged at a 4.7 star so still had a fairly high rating uh, for it now features of this this um, does require 160 horsepower which isn't too bad it does make 4,000 liter square bales and obviously since it's a square baler um, at least in this format you don't have to stop to unload bales it will just keep going like any other square baler um, starting price is $155,000 which is probably pretty normal for uh, square balers similar to this. Um, it does have some color options, not a ton. You can do different new Holland colors on it to adjust it. Um, and it also does have a couple of wheel options available for you if you wanted to adjust those around as well. So a couple of customization options and for you guys that just want to use big or use new Holland equipment, I should say, um, this might just be exactly what you're looking for. Number six, we have the Alice Chalmers 8550 by Julian F. Modding. This is for all platforms. Only 11.68 megabytes to download. This received 26 ratings, averaging out at 4.6 stars. Uh, features of this, $136,100 to start out to buy. Um, lots of different wheel options for this. So you can customize it as much as you want. Um, yeah, so plenty of options there. Um, you do have options to change those exhaust pipes you see on the front of it, as well as options to add and remove terminals. Um, as well as that, you can see the white terminal on top of the cab there, uh, sticking up the GPS terminal there. That is optional. Um, this does have, or does come with 302 horsepower. Um, there's no adjustments available for the horsepower, so um, you get what you get as far as that goes. You can't adjust it up or down. Um, and it does travel or drive at 19 miles per hour. So um, it's gonna be a little bit slow getting around, but it's a nice, cool, older looking tractor. And I think that it, it would work well on a lot of people's farms. So it's pretty cool to see an Alice Chalmers there. Um, and I don't know if it's going to be, and some of these obviously might be a different brand on console. So I'm not sure if this came to console as a lizard or not. I play on PC, um, but these are all available for all platforms. So just an FYI with that. And at number seven, we have our only one here, I believe that is for um, PC and Mac only. So this is PC and Mac only here. This is not for all platforms. Um, this is the versatile four wheel drive tractors by uh, BC Buhler. 
Carl Farms, and KMN Modding. So three people working on this one here. This had 16 ratings, averaging at 4.8 stars, so fairly high rating, even though not too many people took the time to rate it yet. Um, and by the way, in the future, if you want to see different stuff on these videos, what helps out is if you rate it and give it a good rating or a bad rating if you don't want to see it on here. So just depending on that, I encourage you to rate it. Um, just remember, monitors work hard on these things, so don't be too harsh, especially if there's a couple issues, because sometimes that happens. Uh, features for these, there are two tractors in this pack, as you can see here. These are not both the same tractor. There's two tractors in this pack. So um, one is tracked and one is wheeled. Um, respectively, the tractor one's going to start out at $410,000, which is more expensive than the wheeled one, which is going to start out at $360,000. Um, they both will drive at, I believe it was 19 miles per hour. I could be wrong. I felt like it was a little bit more than that. But um, anyhow, they both drive at either, I think it might have been 26 miles per hour, um, if I remember correctly. I might have just typed it out wrong uh, thinking of the Alice Chalmers. Um, they do have some really nice LED work light options that you can add on to make their work area very, very well lit. And they do have some horsepower options as well. They both run from 572 horsepower starting up um, all the way to 650 horsepower so you can get quite a bit of horsepower on these guys um, and they both have loads of wheel options there's no color options for these but they both have a ton of wheel options to be able to adjust brands and styles of the tracks as well as the wheels for uh, the wheeled version so definitely a pretty cool tractor to have Number eight, and these are not in any order, and you'll see as we get to more popular ones as we're going through here. Uh, this is the Steyr CVT by Dakini2262. Um, this is available for all platforms, 7.86 megabytes to download, and you guys absolutely love this. This had a lot of ratings on it, 136 ratings, averaging at 4.4 stars. So um, a lot of you guys must be Steyr fans out there that wanted to make sure this got a good rating to hopefully keep seeing more Steyr stuff come to the mod up. So features of this, it starts out at $188,000 as a starting price, drives at 31 miles per hour it does have minimal color options but there's a couple things you can adjust so um, it's always nice to note that um, it does have wheel options as well as a couple of different design options to change things up just a bit so nothing too crazy there but it does have options for you and you can adjust the horsepower from 185 horsepower all the way up to 275 or 270 horsepower so there are definitely some uh, horsepower options for you right there so not a bad tractor but there you go for all you Steyr fans out there I'm sure you guys are pretty excited about this Number nine, we have the Comia C6 by Yagis Modding. This is for all platforms, 19.31 megabytes to download. Um, this one was also fairly popular with 49 ratings, averaging at 4.7 stars. Uh, features of this, this comes with a standard header as well in this pack. So um, you can have a grain header. The one that's pictured here is the one that comes with. It's $21,000 to buy the header. There are no customization options for the header, and it has a working width of 4.2 meters. Um, the harvester itself will start out at a price of $124,000. Um, it has 185 horsepower, and a 4,200 liter grain tank. So 4,200 liter grain tank for you. Um, it will drive at 15 miles per hour and harvest at six miles per hour, which is standard. Obviously it'll harvest faster depending on the header. So if you were to put a Helianthus header on here, it would harvest sunflowers a little bit faster. So just note that, but six miles an hour is gonna be what it's gonna harvest at with this current configuration with the grain header. It does have a couple of wheel options on there, but no other selections to customize it. But there you go, the Comia C6. Number 10, and this is actually the most popular mod of the week. This is the Simulator 19 Monster Pack by Viper GTS 96. This is for all platforms, 17.39 megabytes to download. This got 889 ratings, averaging at 4.7 stars. So uh, very well liked, and a lot of people took the time to rate this, which is awesome. So uh, definitely good to see that. We did have something similar called the Bigfoot come out. Um, I believe it might've been even by the same people. Um, a lot of the options were the same. I think this was just designed to make sure you could go to all platforms because I don't believe the Bigfoot did. Um, but anyhow, this starts out at $125,000 starting price, has lots of color options available, so you can adjust this in any way, shape, or form you want. Um, and it does have horsepower options from 950 horsepower to 11 hundred horsepower so uh, lots of horsepower on there um, and you do have some options for the tread it's the same tires but you can have worn or full tread options to kind of make the tires look more worn or look like they're newer um, these are the full tread options you're seeing in front of you right now and this does drive at a max speed of 111 miles per hour 111 so very very quick uh, but yeah Anyhow, guys, that is all of the top mods for the week. If you guys enjoyed this video, drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Crop channel. And if you want to see more of these types of videos, uh, please let me know down in the comments and show your support down there. But anyhow, guys, thank you guys for coming and watching.